this game 13 sleds play. Sit back and enjoy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I know I said I'd be doing the Amazing Spider-Man next. Well, I lied. <laughs> Sorry, I did really did want to do it. I even recorded a part one, but the thing is, I didn't realize I didn't have my microphone connected, so I couldn't record the commentary. And I really wanted it to be live commentary, so I decided to give up on that and do a, another Let's Play, which this time we're going to be doing Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise for the PlayStation. Now a lot of you may think of me as childish for doing this game, but I actually grew up with this game on the PlayStation. And I'm going to control the thing. Analog mode, there we go. And yes, I'm sorry, I'm going to skip the whole PlayStation thing, <laughs> introduction thing. Alright, so, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents. I actually have not played this game in a long, long time, so... I'm probably gonna be very suckish, because... Once again, I have not played this game in absolutely ages! So it's gonna be kind of like a blind run. So, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, so... Obviously developed by Blitz Games. Oh shit, Sherlock. <laughs> and, uh... So, Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise. But yeah, this game is really good. I really like it. Hey, so we're gonna... Yep, there's Lilo there. So we got like gallery here, controls. Let's see what else we have. Wow. There you go. Sound. And yep, in the background we have You Ain't No Friend of Mine by Elvis Presley playing. Which I actually really I really like this song. I really like the fact that they have an Elvis song in this game. Okay, so we're gonna start new game. I do not remember the controls of the, for the life of me, sir. So, and I do remember this game being really hard. So, yeah. Okay, cutscene time. And yeah, these cutscenes are just clips from the movie, so I'm going to be talking through them. No shit, Sherlock! Actually, no, it wasn't a flying star, it was a meteorite. Hey, it's Stitch! What's up, Stitch? Yeah, this is like the first time Stitch walks out of his... ...spaceship. <laughs> of course. And... Yeah. Excuse me. I, I I just always found these. I I I grew up with the movie Lilo and Stitch, and I loved it to bits. I found it hilarious. Although I feel kind of sorry for Stitch there. I really need to watch the, the movie. I haven't seen it in ages. Of course, that's how Lilo and Stitch met. Okay, so we're gonna start out at Lilo's house. And I believe there are actually multiple paths you can take throughout this game. You can go to different levels and such. I'm just gonna be going through the game. So, yep. Come on, Stitch! Okay. There you are. Hi! Listen, Lilo, I've got to go to work now, so I'll meet you in town at one o'clock, okay? Okie dokie! One o'clock. That's ages away. Come on, Stitch. We well, actually, I believe you can. Walk. You do have to go in a set amount of paths, but... Uh, yeah. Okay, so collect 16 photographs. Oh, no, we don't want to save yet. 
Or just started, why would I want to save right away? So we're going to start by going this way into the first level, which I, I had actually so much trouble with on my first try. Carwood. I remember whenever I was growing up, I could not beat this level for the life of me. And I might be still suck, kind of suckish now because, like I said before, I have not played this game in absolutely ages. And we're going to start. And yeah, this level is just like an introductory to level to get used to the controls. And for some reason in this game, you cannot use the square button to attack, you have to use a circle button. I don't know why. I believe the circle button is for something else, but... Yeah. It, it, it kind of bugs me that you can't, you know... Oh wait, the square button's for picking up, sorry. Alright, now these plants, they can be annoying. You're going to want to pick up the dynamite and put it near the enemies. Actually, this game is easier than I remember. I remember I've beaten it once or twice. But I've never 100%ed it though. And we've got a photo there. Yeah, you have to collect a certain amount of photos in order to be able to move on, so yeah. And there's another one. One out of four. There. Yeah. Now those plants, I actually believe you can voodoo them, but it's, up, but it's just easier to defeat them with dynamite, so yeah. And, okay, I'm gonna butt bash you. Yeah, you can do a bomb bash in this game by pressing, by pressing the circle while... Yeah. Oh, there's a headshot there, but it's not blue, but it sure is spiky. <laughs> you, you get what I'm talking about. And I don't know, I have no clue what those things do, those ca cameras. I really don't know. And yeah, the annoying thing about those, about this game is that those plants, you actually cannot go up to them, I believe, without getting hit, so... If you've got, like, one bit of health left, you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, I apologise if I'm failing at this game, like, but I'm going to be kidding myself. Like I said before, I've not played this game in absolutely ages. So, yeah. And I believe you have... You don't, ha you don't have to collect all the photos in, this, in these levels, you just have to collect a certain amount, but I think I'm going to get them all because there's one left here, and it's really easy to get, so. And yes, I have all four photos, and that's the end of Cold Wood. Well, that was actually a breeze to go through, because I didn't die once, surprisingly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay, next next up we have Hula School. I, I actually, but like I said before, I haven't really seen the movie in a long time, so... Yeah. Right, press the right button for map. But yeah, this is the map screen. It's pretty much straightforward. It's pretty simple to use. You have to just pretty much shows you where you've been. If it if it's like if there's a Lilo sign and it's green, where, then then that shows that you've been there. But if it's a stitch and it, and it's red, then that means you haven't been there. So wait, hang on. I'm, I'm not sure if it matters if it's sti Lilo or stitch. But I know if it's green, you've been there, and if it's red, you haven't. Oh God, I remember this. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting nostalgia doing this let's play now. Alright, this guy. I remember. You, he's, this boss battle is pretty easy. All you have to do is wait until he attacks you and then turns around. Then you've got to voodoo his green thing, so... Yeah. But you've got to wait. He's just going to attack you then turn around, so it's pretty straightforward. So. Yeah. Alright. Now on to our next level. Yeah, I also failed at this level whenever I first tried it as well, <laughs> constantly. And I believe we play a stitch in this next level as well. 
Let's see. Conrad. Yep, we play a stitch. You can tell whether or not you play the last stitch by the like loading signs that on the top left hand corner of the screen or top right. If it's Lilo, you play as Lilo. If it's Stitch, you play as Stitch. Oh. Alright. So So now yeah, by you actually do get different power ups in each level, like if you saw in code we got like stars, but in this level we got um yeah, we get cups. I believe we actually get cups in all the stitch levels. So. Also, you can use a square button to spin as well. So, yeah. And yep, yeah, I stitch can do a bum bash as well. So yeah, this is actually so Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. I think this is actually a really fun platformer. So, overall, sir. So. Yeah. If you're looking for a nice PS1 game to play, and you're a fan of the movie, get it, I'd say. I remember once I also rented another PS1 game called... Yep, yeah, you can also go out and go and get extra lines and stuff, but I'm not going to get all that crap. And... Whenever you're... Yeah, as you, can, as you can see right here, whatever your stitch symbol on the, the lower left hand corner of the screen is all red, you can actually press this triangle button and stitch will actually roll up into a ball and attack any enemies that come his way, so, yeah. Yes, it's right stitch. Right. Yeah. I'm actually being kind of cautious here. Excuse me. So, uh, yeah. But, um, memories of this game do come back to me the more I play it. I mean, like I said before, I was actually expecting a worse, much worse playthrough of this game, because, well, I mean, I wasn't expecting to be this good at the game. Make sure you uh go up and get that pitch before you uh break it down, so yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah. Looking back on this game now, I don't understand why I thought it was so hard. I mean Yeah, I would have been I was a kid at the time where I would I would have been like more naive than I am now. Looking back at it now, this game is a piece of cake so far. I mean, why did I have so much trouble with this game before? It's easy. When you look back on it, that is. After like, I haven't played this game in like a couple of years, I think. I mean, I've had it for like since I was a kid, but but I have, but I have not played it in ages. Okay, here you're gonna want to be careful because you want to go beside the path so you can avoid the cars and the traffic while killing enemies along the way. Alright. So, yeah, also to fill up your meat, red meter on the lower left hand corner of the screen, you just need to collect cuts. So. And, yeah. That's the end of Corner Road. Actually, think yeah. After this, the third, after the third level in this let's on the, in this video, I'll end the video. All right, Hele Hele Kala. I, I don't know how you pronounce this stuff. I'm not like I don't live in Hawaii, so like I'm not Hawaiian, so I've, nor have I ever been to Hawaii, so yeah. All right, so can't go this way just yet. So we're gonna face this boss again. Again, nostalgia. Well, not just the boss battles. I mean, but uh, I mean, just about everything in this game is giving me nostalgia. So yeah. So it's just like you did with Lila. You've got to go up to him. Oh wait, this one shoots fireballs. I forgot. 
Make sure he comes up to you and attacks you. And then attack him when he turns around. That green spot is his weakness, so yeah. Alright. Excuse me. Now on to our next level, where we're going to play as Lilo, I believe. Yep. Make a new trail. This level gave me hell at my first try. I don't know why, did, but my, I remember at my first try, this level gave me freaking hell. Hello, Lilo. <laughs> Alright, so in this level, we're collecting pineapples, no shit, Sherlock. And, uh, yeah. Pick up that dynamite. And yeah, I'd, I must recommend using Diamond on the night again. Please go. And those green plants, you've got to be extra careful with them because they... And that failed. They attack you multiple times, so... Yeah. You've got to be very quick with them. And that's our first picture. I actually might get all the pictures in this run. You never know. <laughs> you know, I don't plan to, but I could. Wait, there we go. Alright, and yeah. Never, even if you don't collect dynamite, you can still set it off by going close to it, so. Yeah. Which I don't see the point in that, because it's not very useful, so. Yeah. There we go. Alright. So that should be the plan. Wait until the attack, then. This one. There we go. Wait for this one to explode. See, I remember when I was a kid playing this level. I used to pick up every bit of dynamite in sight, and I used to like drop the previous one that I got for another stick of dynamite. I don't know why. I was too busy being five, I guess, at the time. I believe I was five when I played this game. And flip, I did not mean to do that. Right. Attack the hedgehog! There we go. Right, wait for it to attack you. Or to attempt to attack you. There we go. And, yep, yeah, pick up. There we go. Alright, now, here, you're going to want to set off these sticks of dynamite. Well, I don't think you have to, but it's better if you want to, like, clear the way. I think you have to, I don't know. I'm too busy gathering back my memories, so don't ask me. Here I believe we have to drop that there. Oh, flip. That was my fault. I thought we could pick up that, but we couldn't. We can't pick it up. Right, pick this up, there we go. And I missed that camera. Wait, never mind, I don't need that. Yeah, I recommend voodooing everything inside just in case. And yeah, I just want to see what that could do again. But yeah, if you actually press the triangle button in this, whenever you ha as you saw right there, if you press the triangle button whenever you have a, a spoon, you can. Get a fat ice cream man just chilling, just chillaxing on the beach to attack the enemy, you know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, two pineapples. Not bad at all. Oh my god. This part gave me help my first try, I believe. <laughs> really? Did I just die? Oh well. First death of this run. 
Ay, ay, ay. Well, we made it this far. Didn't die until I like, very far in the game, so yeah. Yeah, we got you. Got to wait until it goes back, then voodoo it. Okay. One thing I don't like about this game though is that it doesn't let you know. I believe whenever you get a checkpoint. But hey, oh well. Can't get everything you want. All right. Leap of faith. Yep, we did it. Attack it quickly. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. I'll pick up this st stick of di- and flip. I was gonna pick up this stick of dynamite just in case. Never mind. Could've been useful here. Never mind. There we go. Excuse me, and you die again. And that was the late, I apologise. <laughs> Alright. Okay, pick something up here, finally. Yep. Alright. Set that off, and we can go and get our picture. Yep, we've got every single photo, of course. And our stick of dynamite is going to be of no use to us now. Never mind. Man, I'm just holding this game. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I have not played it in such a long time. It's like a walk in the park. And now we're at the surf sh shack. And um, why is there a sad loading screen? I don't know. And for whatever reason on this next part, even though we just played as Lilo, we play as Stitch now. And I believe we play as Lilo in the next level as well, I don't know. And these guys. They're just pretty much the same as the other guys. Only... Yeah, there's no... Not really no difference, ex except for the fact just... Except for the fact that they're red instead of green to fit with the mood of the beach, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, yeah. And that's it. Wow, I didn't even show the spinning animation there. Don't know why, but just didn't. Right, let's see how far we've come. Yep, we're almost there. And, yep, we've almost gone in a full loop back to Lilo's house. So, that's actually going to wrap things up for episode, for part one of Let's Play Lilo and Stitch, Tr Stitch Trouble in Paradise. I know, it was originally going to be The Amazing Spider-Man. But, you know what, stuff happens. But, I hope you enjoy like my new choice of Let's Play. I actually really like it, because, of course, it's nostalgia to me. This is Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 saying, word out. Join me next time for part two.